Hey there, it's Sarah, author, speaker, and advocate. Sometimes we suppress painful memories amid or immediately following trauma. This can be done either subconsciously or consciously. We can opt to divert our attention if we are triggered by something that brings up pain points from the past, or our brain can just naturally bury memories somewhere in the deep recesses of our mind so we don't have to keep reliving the trauma that we've escaped from. However, it can be especially therapeutic to allow these memories to resurface if our intentions are to go through the healing process. Sustainable healing is sometimes realized through moving from surpassing the past to allowing it to be a part of us still and acknowledging it, but still leaving it in the past. Therapists and counselors can work with clients on exposure therapy. It can be incredibly helpful or incredibly detrimental, just depending on an individual's situation. It is best for those suffering from PTSD to seek help and work with a professional on this form of treatment. But because self-reflection is also a huge part of the healing process, memories can be accessed in these moments alone if desired. There are certain exercises that have been proven to reinduce these memories in a healthy manner and with accuracy. So what can we do about reintroducing lost memories? It is important to start small and slowly. Don't try to summon a treasure trove of hurtful past moments all at once. Try accessing these instead one at a time and only for a few moments. Sit in them and consider them for exactly what they are. If you are unable to practice this exercise at first, that's okay. Don't beat yourself up over it or rush into anything that you feel uncomfortable with. Also, if you find it too overwhelming or unhelpful, then Perhaps you're just not in the right place in your healing process, and you can try it again at another point. If you're determined to summon the past and are unable to do so on your own, you can work with a neurologist, a psychologist, a life coach, an energy healer, or some other professional who knows how to reaccess these memories in a healthy and sustainable way. You might also consider making changes to your diet or lifestyle Exercise can help improve cognitive functioning and so can improving your diet. Remember your healing journey is your healing journey. Just because something works for someone else doesn't mean that it has to for you and vice versa. You know you best. So keep moving forward as you see best. Thanks and hope you have a wonderful week.